So let me conclude by just, just by noting uh, two problems with a policy of creating national champions that go beyond the problem I've emphasized, the harm to domestic productivity. And these other problems were uh, recognized in the US uh, uh, debate over national competitiveness in the 1980s also. One is the who is us problem. And that's uh, the title of an article by Robert Reich uh, in Harvard Business Review. Uh, so uh, a firm's top management and its ownership might be in one jurisdiction, while most of its employees and facilities might be in another. So is an appropriate European champion a firm that's owned, led, and headquartered in Europe? Or is it one with most of its employees, R&D, product design, and complex manufacturing in Europe? If they, because those could differ. And can a firm be a European champion if its leadership, ownership, employees, and facilities are spread around the world with only some of them in Europe? And the other problem is that national champions may ultimately lead to less competition. Uh, if geographic markets are global, uh, not European, let's say, and all major jurisdictions create national champions, well, will global markets become concentrated and perform less competitively? And if so, is Europe made better off by creating a national champion? 